ba 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 Hey there folks, hello there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, non-binary friends, trans friends, everyone on the sun and above the sun and under the moon and the stars and the skies and everyone else and everyone, um, what's the opposite of everyone else? I don't know, English is weird, and so am I, because I'm Jake English, and you're watching a very English Let's Play of Hive Swap, episode 3, part 3, actually, because that's the naming scheme that we use on the, on the, anyways, hi, we're back, <laughs> I just learned that I abandoned this lovely child, um, and we're gonna read a diary, so that's, that's an invasion of, never mind, anyways, so hi, we're back, and, um, and I'm Jake English, and this is Dirk Strider, and, um, and hi, okay, so, I'm going to assuage my guilt by continuing to play this game. And uh, you unlock and open your diary. Nice, juicy secrets, here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. Ah, all right. Oh my god, oh that's very colorful. And that's definitely Roxy, and that, I mean, how can it be Roxy? Okay, all right, I'm getting very confused here, and I real oh, that's Puppy Surprise again, oh no! Oh no, it's Puppy's, I really hope that's not Puppy Surprise again. I really hope that's just her normal dog. I really hope that's just her normal dog. Puppy Surprise is going to haunt my fucking nightmares! Okay, all right, okay, we're fine. We're fine. It's a minute and a half into the episode, and we're fine. And Puppy Surprise does not his fire. Okay. All right. We're good. <clears throat> All right. We're going to click on this, and I'm going to um, be confused about how um, Roxy exists in this timeline, um, when technically Roxy should be like much, much older if she's like Rose's mom. Um, and also, you know what, you know what, maybe there'll be answers later on in this game, maybe there'll be answers in Hive Swap Act 4, which will come out probably in 2020, when Trump gets defeated by whoever the fuck. But let's just move on for now. Alright, oh, look, um, you usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you thinks today will be a difference. Yeah, I would think so, what with the monsters and the teeth and the arms and such. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible snakey thing. I oh, know. Okay, let's, let's write a little. Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail, mentioned offhand and forgotten. The key kicking off the key. <laughs> kicking off a casual cascade, <laughs> cascade of, of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. Uh, April 13th, 1994. Oh, 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 it's so many dates that seem significant, but probably aren't. Dear Diary, ho oh, hum, nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Uh, wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Oh, Ch Ch Joey, Joey, honey. Oh, well, you know what I mean, diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. Oh, Joey, Joey! I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. What the? Uh, is that a 90s thing? I'm sure that's a 90s thing. Ah, yeah, it's a much larger text thing than I thought it would be. The kids at school are jerks, though. They call me a poser when I try to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be evil. Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. Joey. June 12th, 19... Another fucking day. All of these dates! Fuck you, hussy! Or I guess Cohen Enderfield, or whatever his name is. What's his actual name? The guy who wrote all this stuff? Uh, thanks, Dick. Okay. Dear Diary. Woo! First day of summer vacation. I can't wait to, to get a break from all those clowns at school. Uh, clowns. Sometimes, I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Well, you're in luck. Hey, this is, uh, you're fucking... These writers are just uh, baiting us. Another baiting us. I'm pointing at the computer screen a lot. You can't see it, but I'm pointing at the computer screen a lot. We gesticulate a lot. This game's making me gesticulate. Joey. Ah, October 25th. 
That's, uh, that's when Cascade was updated. You fucking piece of shit. Dear Diary, I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. Oh, Joey's not a happy tyke. I've come home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure is some quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. I wonder if she lives on the East Coast, which would explain the whatever haven't heard from par in weeks oh, last we saw of him he popped her in the house to drop off some more stupid mummies and globes that sounds uh, oh whatever then skipped off to some more adventures what a bozo also how lame is it that he made us call him pa instead of dad when we were growing up i don't I don't quite know when, why I would, or why he, or I, whatever, why that would happen. I miss mom. Oh, Joey, <laughs> Joey's a sad tyke. If this is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to scare the big Jesus out of whoever finds it once you snake chow. November 11th, 1994. All these significant dates is really pissing me off. Dear Diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a little bit excited. Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a slime cunning monster on the prowl. Probably, possibly rather, hungry for kitten meat. Ugh. Two. So I've got to... Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey. Satisfied you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case the worst should happen, you relock your diary and hide the key again. Safe and sound. Please don't, please don't hide the key in the puppy. Please don't hide the key in the puppy. I hate that I have to say that sentence. I hate that this game made me say that sentence. You already done your duty to history by recording your potential last words. Time to shake a leg. You know what that means. You couldn't tap dance your diary up, <laughs> though if you wanted, you might be able to tap dance it off the desk, if you wanted to. You don't want to though, you're gonna go ahead and, and head off that line of reasoning, oh, head that line of reasoning off at the pass. It's not the way to open your diary, it's just an idle thought, you need your diary key to open your diary, period. Can I, can I dance to your mom? Your mom was a great dancer. Top swing, ballroom, bolero, even wild experimental stuff like contact improvisation. Oh boy, a hum, humana, humana. Ballet was a passion though, and she was transcendent. Golly. Oh, I wonder if I can do the childhood memories tap. Tap dancing actually freaks you down. Oh, no. yeah, let's suppose it's the ribald, firework-like percussion of your toes and heels clacking against the hardwood floors that does it. In fact, you don't even really have to suppose you're pretty much certain. All right, good to know. Can I, uh, I can't click on anything else. Anyways, oh, good, we're back. All right, what's this one? Look, uh, you really like this poster, but can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. You wonder what it's like when adults go to museums to look at actual art. Oh, you wonder if this is Blah, blah, blah. You hope so. Uh, let's appreciate the art. You give it a good, hard stare. Yeah, you're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. It's obviously the wrong school of dance for this poster. You need to put on suitable shoes for this, by which you mean to dance in front of a poster. I wonder if we actually do get ballet shoes at some point. I really hope so. That would be awesome, actually. Okay. Um, uh, ooh, what's this? Ah, ooh, more things. Okay, um, is that a... Uh, okay, you really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. Okay, I think I know what that means. Um, so, let's get the bop it. All right, that's where you put the walkie-talkie batteries. You just take them back out. Okay, one more game for time's sake. First, Jude's probably fine. Those probably are just, um, you know, you know, um, uh, oh God, what's the phrase? I said it earlier. I said it earlier, and I'm forgetting what it actually is. Um, um, Morse code. Morse code for I'm fine. Forget the flying evil mouth bats. I'm super fine. So, yeah, let's play Bop It. Oh, Simon says. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, 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 yellow. Yellow. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, uh, yellow. Red. Yellow. Red. Oh, God. Uh, uh, too many lights. Yellow. 
red, uh, green. Yellow, <laughs> red, green. What? Oh, looks like the green button isn't working. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm sad now. My button's not working. Dirk, make my button work. Dirk, make my button work. Dirk, make my button work. Someone at home, if you have the time or energy or the shits to give. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. If someone at home has the, you know what, no, fuck it, never mind, I'm not even going to ask. I was going to say make a Dirk make my button work um, <laughs> remix, but that's, don't do it, please don't do it, please, that would, that would actually make me, like, like, run around in a circle and, like, bury my head in my pillows for, like, two hours straight. Don't, don't do it, please don't do it, that would be really embarrassing. Okay, alright, looks like the green button isn't working. <laughs> Oh god, what have I done? Well, nostalgia satisfied, might as well scavenge the batteries, cannibalize them. Oh god, oh god, okay, the transitions are really spooking me and I don't know why. It just moves quickly and sometimes things move really quickly. And then sometimes, alright, okay, is there anything else I can click on in here? Why is there a burger? Why is there a burger in there? Is that another 90s thing? I... Dirk should understand 90s things more, but I'm not going to ask him to understand every 90s thing in here. Okay, um, oh, I guess I can use the walkie-talkie. Okay, so, um, let's move back to the other side of the room. I think I've looked at everything over here. Um, so, alright, so let's combine, let's click on this and combine it with that. Success! The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. A battery-powered charm. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many on what should show to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. And next time, on a very English Let's Play of High Fucking Swap, we're going to talk to our first puzzle, uh, or, or brother, as the case may be. And, um, you, my love. Lovely loves, loves, uh, lovely love loves, yeah, alright, whatever, I just said those words, um, and next time on a very English Let's Play of Hive Swap, we're gonna say more words, and solve more puzzles, and talk to more things, and ignore more fatherly, um, um, abandonment that I may or may not have caused in an alternate universe, and, um, and, um, and more, and more, and much, much more, okay, see ya, love ya, bye bye! Doopy deepy deepy doop, bop, 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 bop. Why am I looking at an advertisement on my phone? This is a shitty game rip off of Final Fantasy XV. That's not what I wanted to do, Mr. Stop Watch App. Thank you for leaving that ad. Oh shit, this is actually the end slate, isn't it? Ignore that!